The light that we see comes from many different sources, including objects that aren't directly visible to us. For instance, imagine looking at the corner at the base of a wall's edge. Although the wall prevents you from seeing the scene to the right of the corner, you may notice a fuzzy shadow on the ground. This shadow is called the penumbra. The penumbra is caused by light coming from the obscured scene. But what happens if the scene starts to change, perhaps because people are moving? This can lead to some very small but measurable changes in the penumbra. In this work, we demonstrate how to interpret these subtle changes and use them as a camera to see into the scene behind the corner. To show how to use the penumbra to recover the hidden scene, let's take a look at a simple example. Imagine two people, one red and one blue, hidden behind a wall. If you were standing with your shoulder up against the wall, you wouldn't be able to see any of the scene behind the corner. But if you were to slowly move away from the wall, walking in a circle about the corner, you would see more and more of the scene. Eventually, the hidden scene comes fully into view. Similarly, different points on the ground reflect the integrated light from different slices of the hidden scene. The presence or absence of a person in the scene often makes a difference of just about a tenth of a percent in the reflected light. These changes in the penumbra are usually invisible to the naked eye, but by recording the penumbra from afar, we're able to extract these subtle color changes. And by simply taking the derivative of light along circles surrounding the corner and combining this information across space to reduce noise, we obtain one-dimensional images that indicate the light coming from different angular positions in the hidden scene. By stringing together a series of these one-dimensional images, we generate one -dimensional a one-dimensional movie that indicates the changes in the hidden scene over time. Note that we're able to reconstruct the angular position of the blue and red people just by looking at the seemingly still video of the corner that is currently playing. The recovered one-dimensional videos not only tell us the position of the people behind the corner, but also tells us the number of people moving in the hidden scene. Our method works on both indoor and outdoor environments with an, a variety of ground surfaces, such as concrete, carpet, tile, hardwood, linoleum, and brick. And the only equ equipment required is a standard consumer camera. Even an iPhone camera will work. This simple method could prove valuable in a wide range of applications. Since it can be used even when the camera is far away from the corner, it could be used to help remotely sense occupants in a difficult to access room. Additionally, this method may help us in detecting oncoming vehicles or pedestrians in automotive collision avoidance systems. Here we show we're able to detect a young girl playing near the street. We were even able to reconstruct a video of a hidden scene while it started to rain. Additionally, in the case of multiple corners, such as in an open doorway, we can use stereo views of the hidden scene to triangulate a person's position over time. Here we use this approach to recover the roughly circular pattern the subject is making as they walk around the room. Information about hidden or invisible scenes are scattered all around us. We simply need to know where to look. Check out our website for more information and to download code that will run on your own live streaming video in real time.